We walk across the globe just to hear your beautiful moan. And you, uh, if you wanted to, make it just as bad as I do. So I'm gonna get it right. Let the two bodies collide tonight and I will take my time and enjoy the ride. I get you ready to the window when it's raining, right? Sleep is live, provided the time of your life. All you gotta do is show up and baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. When I'm finished, baby, we can get blow. Let me turn you on. Let me rub you down. Girl, you know I really wanna fuck right now. Let me turn you on. Before I love you, man, I'm about to uh, baby, let me do a little tutorial. On Adobe Audition, you know, I've been mixing down in this shit for quite some time now. You know, get a pretty good sound out of it. But, you know, I figure out I'm on YouTube like three, four hours a day learning how to do shit. I might as well, you know, get back. So, you don't get this shit started right. So, this is the beat I got going on right now, you know. Let's move beat. You know, so, the first thing you want to do, obviously, you want to think of the hook. Think of the hook. Sometimes it comes to people, sometimes it don't, you know me, I'm gifted, it just comes to me. So the way I like to record though, is I'm going to take, when I do my hook, I'm going to record the whole thing two times. Then I'm going to come back, then I'm going to do the overdubs two times. Then, you know, if I have ad libs, I'm going to do those two times as well. You know, depending on, uh, you know, how much melody I want to put in it, I'm going to put a couple more tracks on there, you know what I'm saying? But something like this, uh, yeah, I'll just let y'all see for yourself, bro. Huh? Oh, Baby, let me turn you on. Baby, I'm going to turn you on. So that right there be the first take. I'm going to come back, I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. When I finish, baby, we can get blow. Let me turn you on. Let me rub you down. Girl, you know I really want to fuck right now. Let me turn you on. Baby, let me turn you on. Baby, let me turn you on. Okay, so now that I got that take done, I'm going to... Do some overdubs. Like I said, I do two takes of everything. I'm gonna do two sets of overdubs. Turn you on, off your clothes. We can get blow on, down. Really wanna fuck right now. You on. Baby, let me turn you on. Baby, let me turn you on. Second take. You on off your clothes, we can get blow. Alright, so this particular track, I'm gonna have a. Probably gonna do two more takes of overdubs, but I'm gonna kinda have a little melody thing going on with it, so. That's what I'm And you don't have to be a good singer to be able to do this. Turn you on off your clothes, we can get blow. You on, you down. So I just finished with my other six takes. And now I'm going to come over here and do a couple more things. I'll keep y'all in touch. Alright, so like I said, I just, just finished the uh, six tracks. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to mix them all down. When I record, I like to record in mono. Everyone has their own different preferences, but me personally, I do mono. So. First thing I like to do to my raw vocals is I'm gonna run them through a the noise gate, take all that ambient noise. See this noise right here? Run it through that noise gate. Takes most of that away. I'll hit play, you don't hear nothing. Hit the mute. So second, excuse my dog. Anyway, so the second thing I like to do, I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put a, a compressor on. And me, I like to normally go for a ratio of uh, somewhere around 10. That just always works good for me. My attack is normally set at 0.2. My release is at 10 milliseconds. My gain, it all depends on how loud I was or how my mic was turned up. So I always preview that. I normally, what I try to do is get it up to negative three. Alright, 
So that's that. So before I do anything else with any other track, I'll just run through all of that, you know, just so I can get the same basic sound. For everything. things I do for every track. Everything that comes into this border gets regulated the same way up to this point. So I, I messed up on this one so I hit F11 and uh, make sure my channel set to mono 50-50 and put back in mono. There we go care of everything right there. Okay, so right now, we're a total mess. There's nothing pretty about this sound. So, next thing I normally do, on average, I take, uh, take my overdubs probably about negative 35. Left and right. Negative 35, positive 35. I'll take my second set of overdubs. I'll double that amount. So we'll do, instead of double, we'll do 65. So negative 65 and 65. And your overdub should always be a lot quieter than your main takes. And the reason why I do two main takes is because I have these mono, so when they come together, it's almost a stereo sound anyway. But I just like the difference in my voice.